Hello, my name is Bob Kabarski with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video covers how to configure H323 telephony settings for the Avaya 1X Communicator client. On initial startup, the Avaya 1X Communicator has the ability to automatically configure several of the settings required for operation. This is done through the Auto Configure option using the 46XX settings file. The 46XX settings file is typically configured by your system administrator. However, in the event of a problem or change to your communications environment, it may be necessary to verify or change these settings. I will go through the steps required to access these settings and give a brief explanation of their purpose. You'll need to access the settings window. To do this, select the gear icon on the top of the login window, then select settings. The telephony settings window will open under the general settings accounts category. The first setting at the top of the screen specifies which communications protocol you are using to communicate to the Avaya or Core, H323 IP protocol or SIP session initiated protocol. To complete the settings required for H323, you will need to enter your H323 extension number and password. Then moving to the server list, it must contain one or more IP addresses for your VIA or communications manager. To add an address to the list, click the Add button, then enter the IP address associated with the communications manager. Clicking OK will add the address to the list. An address can be removed from the list by highlighting it and then selecting the Remove button. The final setting is the Enable Video Calls option. It can be selected if your extension number is configured for video. Typically, your system administrator will provide these settings information based on the configuration of your communications environment. Or you can choose the Auto Configure button. The application will then attempt to retrieve this information from the 46XX settings file and populate the settings within the client. Keep in mind this is not supported via VPN connection. After making any changes to these settings, select OK for the changes to take effect. Finally, you can view the settings while logged into the client, but changes must be made prior to login. To view them, select the gear icon on the top of the user interface, then select Settings and General Settings, and the telephony settings screen will be displayed. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.